what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back yes today we're going to be doing two episodes or two that i missed um the two episodes um of haiku <laughs> okay two episodes here of season four um i know another one is dropping today so i'll maybe react to that later on today and um put it out tomorrow this saturday for y'all so i know a lot of you guys are asking questions about the series that are ongoing on the channel that i'm doing on a weekly basis as per high q a lot of people are saying why isn't high q on the schedule um the reason why high q is not on the schedule right the reason why high q is not on the schedule is simply this well other than the fact that i didn't have space to put it on the on the schedule i didn't want to put it on the schedule either right I, I just didn't i just didn't want to put it on the schedule because i don't know when i'm going to do a high cube i don't know when i'm going to actually do it because the, the episodes drop on friday right the episode drops on fridays okay i don't know if i'm gonna to get to it that day or the next day i don't know okay so that's the reason why it's not on the schedule okay another reason why it's not on the schedule these shows that I'm caught up to, I'm going to start looking to see what days they come out so I can remember because God forbid you guys should tell me anything about these series. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, look it up for yourself. All right, I'll look it up for myself, <laughs> okay? And I will get the information um, and get the reactions done for you guys. They're still not going to be on the schedule. Also, the newer series that I'm doing, the short ones that are only like one season deep, like Promise Neverland, God of High School, Jujutsu Kaisen, um, all of those um, are coming. Don't worry. I am currently reacting to these, but I'm taking my time to react to them. Once I am done with the seasons, I'm going to put them out literally days in a row so don't worry they're gonna be on early access early access is gonna get all of them at once and then when we get to um the the youtube channel when they come out officially on the channel then we'll do them one episode a day okay so don't worry about it okay stop worrying about it stop asking questions about it i see all the comments okay so let's jump into these two episodes, man. Let's see, you know what I'm saying? We, the animation is not up to par, we get it. But in any case, it is what it is, okay? We know that we're back with the Karasuno match to see what's going to happen in this match. Karasuno did take the first set, so let's see what happens in the second set against this team, okay? So um, let's dive in, and I'll see you guys for the review. Alright, so that was episode 19 and 20, I think. Yeah, 19 and 20 of High Cube Man season 4. And barring the animation out of this discussion, um very good episode. I like how they brought in that dude at the end. Just you know, it's one of the things that High Cube does very well. You know, if someone is getting a you know flashback backstories you know they're gonna be saucy but this guy is not necessarily saucy he's more of like a um he's a cool operator <laughs> he's a cool operator you know what i'm saying like he keeps his calm in check and that's just basically because of his outlook on life itself why he's able to stay that calm in very stressful situations you know what i'm saying don't make no mistake playing sports is a stressful thing saying that you're never nervous you know what i'm saying you literally have to be a machine to accomplish that uh, to never be nervous you know just look at the sport as an everyday thing even in a highly competitive game to look at it as just oh if you know if we do what we need to do we'll win <laughs> to have that kind of outlook is absolutely not only ridiculous 
Yeah, you know I'm saying not only ridiculous but completely out of out of the scope of what this anime is about. <laughs> but hey, every now and then there's there's a wrench just thrown in there for you to be like, uh, no, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. So, um, I do see what they're going for with this character. Um, you would you will have people that, you know what I'm saying, that don't get nervous. But I think most of the time you're gonna have people who do say that they're capping you know what i'm saying so um it is it, just a way to fool themselves into thinking they're not nervous you know what i'm saying like um not everybody is, is like me you know what i'm saying i get extremely nervous for any little thing i'm playing video games i get nervous you know when you know when i'm fighting a boss when i'm fighting a boss and you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a little bit of XP left on the boss. I don't want to make the wrong move. I get extremely nervous. My fingers start to twitch in weird ways. It, it is just what it is. Some people can stay super calm during very intense situ situation. I'm not saying it's not impossible, but to think that that person is not in any way nervous, you get what I'm saying? Because nervous don't always... It doesn't always show in like a bodily function or anything like your hands start shaking sometimes you just you, you're just nervous you're thinking about it too much you get what I'm saying and you might fail you, you know what I'm saying you know most people they'll you know if something happens it's just like you you're mad you get mad because you didn't accomplish what you wanted to accomplish um, you know I think if he lost I think I think this dude I think if he lost he wouldn't here either way he would probably just go up to his, his um his teammates and and be like well we did what we did you know and we did it to how we practice and we lost so there's nothing to be sad about <laughs> but i don't think the thing about it is that he has emotions we've seen him cry when he got his uniform right he made the team we saw him do that so it's kind of like he's had he has all these emotions inside of him that he doesn't necessarily show but when it becomes overwhelming and that's why i say i compare him a little bit to sukishima because sukishima is the right way he keeps all his emotions bottled in until he finally let it out in season three you know what i'm saying so it, it, it was kind of like I, I i was saying it up until then i said i feel like sukishima is the type of person where you know there's gonna be that moment where he just can't just gonna be so overwhelming because let me tell you something when people don't want to do something when they really don't want to do it they're just not gonna do it because i don't think sport, it's, it's not like you do have people that have parents that force them to do stuff don't get me wrong but i don't think that's the situation with these kids you know what I'm saying? Like you have some people that force their kids to do stuff. Oh, you can't quit, blah, 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 because they want to live vicariously to their kids. And I get that. But, and that that is not only, you know, should never force a kid to do anything he doesn't want to do or he has no interest in. So the fact that he keeps showing up to practice, the fact that he keeps trying to, even though, you know, in looking at the others and saying, why are they trying so hard? It's because he wants to understand you know what I'm saying? So all of those little things that for Tsukishima's character just got me to thinking, I think this guy just, he really loves volleyball, but he doesn't want to show too much, too much interest just in case it doesn't pan out. And we do that a lot as human beings. You know what I'm saying? We do that a lot when it comes on to opportunities in our life and stuff like that. We kind of pull back a lot so that if we are disappointed we don't feel as bad when the fact is you are going to feel bad it's going to happen and that's where the acceptance comes in of these things happening but you don't have to worry about it um you know and you know we go around and we say shit happens and there's nothing wrong with that but at the end of the day it doesn't exclude you from 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 feeling sad or having an emotional reaction towards disappointment you know it doesn't bar you from those feelings you are human you know and it's a part of us you know it, it, it's up to you what are you going to do after that you're going to pick yourself up and move forward or are you going to wallow in your in, in your in, in your pity 
you know, you know, in, in your pitiful shape, I should say. So when it comes on to this guy, really interesting dude, he kind of keeps everybody calm, tell him to do things because he calmly analyzes everything. You don't have a lot of people that can do that. So that's really a huge asset for them because, you know, he is what it is. He's obviously respected because he's so cold. And as I said before, I'm like that sometimes with people, especially people, you know, employees and stuff like that, that work for me or used to work for me, I should say. Um, you, you just sometimes you just got to be cold and tell them what's up. They may not like it all the time, but that's just how I have in certain settings. Because if you don't be straight up and you tell them something or you're trying to make them feel, you know, good all the time about something, even when they're doing bad, that's not a good example to set. You get what I'm saying? So I like his demeanor in that towards his teammates and what he tells them to do versus what he, what he doesn't tell them to do. You know what I'm saying? He's not high fiving all the time and, and that, you know what I'm saying? They've accepted the fact that he's like this. And they know he's cold, so there's no hard feeling. They know his personality. They understand that. But we're in the third set. You know, they're, we're in the third set. And Kageyama is slowly leveling up to, throughout these two episodes. Crazy serve. Um, and also, you know what I'm saying, does blocking dude, the ace on his own. He's definitely leveling up. And he... Um, so far, I think in, in no short terms, he deserves MVP for this match. Um, even though it's not done yet, I think he deserves to be the MVP of this match. He definitely leveled up since he came back from the camp and he's leveling up during this match. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching these reactions with me. I appreciate you guys. Thanks once again, leave a like on the video, leave a comment and I will catch you guys later. Peace animation is trash <laughs>